Hey guys, it's phase one. In this video, you're going to learn how to use mining gadgets in Star Citizen. If you're new to this channel, make sure to subscribe for more Star Citizen content. Without any further ado, let's get started. To get started, you need to pick up some mining gadgets or two. These are found at your local refineries at Lagrange points. You can also find some at Tammany and Sons at Lorville. There are various types of mining gadgets in which all apply various effects on rocks you're mining. For example, the Okunis reduces the instability by 40% while doubling the optimal charge rate, but it also increases the rock's resistance, decreases the optimal charge window, and doubles the overcharge rate. So it's important to be aware of these attributes before using. Thus far, I've found the Okunis, Sabir, and the Bormax. There are others, so I encourage you to shop around. I recommend you pick up various gadgets to bring with you on your mining trips. Depending on the type of rocks you run into, you'll have the right gadget for the job. Once purchased, make sure you equip them on your character. Ensure to bring a backpack as well. Once you arrive on your ship, you can store all your gadgets on the ship for convenience. Now that we're on the field, we'll use this rock as an example. Notice the instability of 1.25 and a resistance of 0.20. To equip your gadgets, use the 4 key. Approach the rock and hold the left mouse button to find an appropriate spot. Once you're okay with the placement, release the left mouse button to place the gadget. Once placed, you'll notice a few UI elements here. In case you need to pick up the gadget, you can use the detach button here. On placement, the gadget will be in calibration mode shown here. This is your waveform and most importantly, your waveform accuracy. Your goal is to adjust your propagation, field range, and axle scatter to get your waveform accuracy as close to 100% as possible. At the bottom, you'll find the device properties. As I stated before, the Okunis reduces instability and doubles the overcharge rate. You can find the drawbacks here as well. Proceed to make your adjustments until you're happy with it. Then click Activate. At this point, your gadget will now apply the properties on the rock. You can now return to your ship. Once back, your ship will rescan the rock. Notice the rock's instability went from 1.25 to 0.75, and the resistance has gone up from 0.20 to 0.33. Proceed to fracture the rock. Once finished, you can go back to retrieve your gadget after fracturing and to reuse it on another rock. Was this guide useful? Let me know in the comments below. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. I will see you on the next one.